another thing. Let's talk this whole phrase, secure in the bag. See, I thought that was something for the young folk. But I hear grown people walking around here talking about they secure in the bag. Crazy thing is, like, y'all don't understand the phrase clearly because, like, the word secure, words have meaning. Like I love, I love etymology. Where a word comes from, what does a word mean? When you, when you, when you look at those things, you don't use words so loosely. So like I heard an Uber driver tell me he was secure in the bag. What? you what do you mean you're secure in the bag? What are you securing? Where's the security in that? I hear people on Friday talking about, yep, just secure in the bag. What? Did you secure the bag or did you accept a pacifier? And if you have a job, don't get pissed with me. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with a job or a paycheck. Some of y'all have great jobs and great paychecks. And if that's you, then this doesn't apply to you. So hush. What, what did the guy on King of Queens say? Shuddy. Shuddy. <laughs> but if your paycheck sucks and you hate your job, don't say you're securing the bag on Friday. You're not. You're accepting a pacifier. And if you're really honest and truthful with yourself, you will admit it because that's the only reason why you're there to begin with. It's just so you can get paid on Friday. And and if you secure the bag on Friday, but the bag is empty on Monday, how secure was it? <laughs> your bag has holes in it. The bag that you're securing has holes in it. That's like trying to transport like water in a pail that has a hole at both ends. It makes no sense. And it makes it makes complete sense to me. I see now why when I was in higher education, and I was working with the high school kids and college students. And I was like, oh, my gosh, these poor kids, they don't have a clue. It's because their parents are clueless. They're walking around here saying dumb stuff that doesn't make any sense. Living completely incongruent lives and really expecting their children to listen to them when everything that they're saying is not true and it's proof by how they're living their lives oh if you do this and you do that then you'll have a great life little kid little johnny little betty little susie whatever and you'll live happily ever after and they're miserable and your kids are looking at you and you're looking like a fool and you're wondering why they're not listening to you it's because you're talking about securing the bag what bag let me tell you something don't use words that you don't understand take the time to look them up and just because a phrase comes out and it's hot and it's popping, let the let the kids say stuff that makes no sense. But you don't do it. Not if you grown and rusty. If you're talking about securing a bag, make sure that your bag really is secure. Okay? And make sure that you really are doing that. Not just saying it because it sounds cool or makes you feel young or, you know, because you like Cardi B. That's silly. And you too old for that. Most of y'all too old for that. Common people secure the bag. But wealthy people diversify portfolios, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying. I just see a lot of stuff. This is, I just had to come back on and say that. Y'all stop talking about securing the bag. And then in the next breath, talking about, you know, the struggle is real. Like, make up your mind. Make up your mind. Which one is it? Are you securing the bag? Or is the struggle real? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, you, you got me confused here. You got me all confused. Anyway, just thought I'd share.